I'm Dr. Gilbert Handel. I became a pediatrician about next year would be 50 years. I've been 40 years in Texas Tech, El Paso. I was recruited here in 1975. Amazing enough, I was recruited to be the, the chief of the division of infectious diseases. Uh, in those years, I was not only the infectious disease, but everything else. I was the only faculty for a few months. I was educated in Chile, in Santiago University of Chile. There, we don't have a, a college. So we go directly from a high school to the university to the medical school. The medical school is seven years. So really, that makes more than an effort. Interesting enough, I trained in, in an experimental high school. It was very interesting because uh, they taught you how to think more than the knowledge itself. Well, I was uh, trained in Miami when I came here to the States. And, I did my fellowship in infectious diseases, and at that time I was offered a position in the faculty in Miami. Okay, however, I was offered also a position here at Texas Tech. I looked at the demographics, and I saw a huge need to have uh, the possibility of opening a research to South America. So I said, well, being in the border, it makes sense for us to have a university that will look south and will work with Mexico and Latin America. I saw the possibility, of course, of being a kind of pioneer in an educational system. I think partly my philosophy was in my medical school, every summer we went and had to do projects in the field. We went for a month or two months sometimes and we worked in the field. And, we work with the Indian tribes, and we work with communities that were not having any resources and in the islands or whatever. And we did tremendous work, and that was very rewarding. And having that experience on public health, combined with the medical experience and medical health, you can really do wonders. To me, it's fascinating to see the process of how we can tackle the real issues that affect health. It's not health care. Health care is just if you're sick, you come to me one half hour, an hour, maybe twice a year or three times a year. But the health is all your life, is how satisfied you are with yourself, with your mental health, with your physical health, with yourself as an individual. I look not only at the child, I look at the whole picture. And that's what I'm trying to convey to my residents and students. I enjoy every minute of them trying to tell them, listen, Look at the whole thing. Don't look at just a narrow picture. Sometimes a patient may come for something that's meaningless to them, but they want something else. You have to explore what are the possibilities. You have to look at every child like if it was your own child, really, and do the best you can all the time. The background that's behind that child is a family and a society and a community and a culture. So. You have to look at the at medicine as one more component of a big pie. And the big pie is, is we're not the center. We're one part of the pie. The center is the patient and society and the family. And so we have to see how we can work as leaders of a team, impinging upon what other collaborators can do to help improve the situation of the child, the family, and the community. What keeps me is the fact that really I'm fulfilling the dreams that I had when I came here, helping children in the community, working with the schools, being the medical director, providing policies, and working with them and every child that has any problem as much as I can, and developing programs really that will transfer my own views of the globality of the pediatric care, the family-centeredness, uh, why should I move, you know, I mean, I have everything, you know, that I can help people with. Why would you retire? Why? To do what you like to do. I love what I'm doing. Why should I retire? <laughs>